If I showed you something that you had never seen before, you would probably look at it for a few seconds. If I then showed If I showed you something that you had never seen before, you would probably look at it for a few seconds. If I then showed you that same thing again and again, however, you would tend to get a little bored and look at it less. Many people are surprised to learn that even newborn infants exhibit this tendency to habituate to a repeated stimulus presentation. Let's watch a two-month-old's very first experience of looking at a jar of cayenne pepper. The colors are bright. The bottle is shiny. It clearly holds her gaze for a while. After about 32 seconds, however, she looks away. We can plot that on a graph so you can see how it changes as we repeatedly present this jar. After she looked away, I placed the bottle out of her view for about 15 seconds and then showed it to her again. Here comes the second time that this little girl ever saw a jar of cayenne pepper. She looked at it again, of course, but this time looked away after about 14 seconds. I hid the bottle for 15 seconds and then showed it to her again. Now she only looked for about six seconds. You can see the trend emerging here. The fourth and fifth presentations only elicited about three seconds and two seconds of looking each. You can clearly see that this child is getting habituated. She looks at the stimulus for a few seconds and then looks away. Think for a moment about what the infant must be able to do in order to exhibit this habituation behavior. First, she has to be able to see. Based on this brief presentation, I can be sure that this girl can see what's going on around her. Second, she has to be able to control where her eyes are aimed. This seems to be an ability that infants possess from the moment they are born. Third, and most impressive, I think, the infant must be able to recognize the repeated object. She must have a functioning memory. Most people don't have any explicit memories of the things that happen before they are about four years of age. Presumably this baby won't remember this experience either when she's a grown-up. 
but habituation shows us that this baby's memory is already functioning. So we've gotten this baby bored with cayenne pepper. What if we show her a new object? Let's watch her first ever experience of seeing a jar of celery salt. She looked for about six seconds When I switched back to the cayenne pepper, the looking time was about four seconds. Hey, pumpkin, you ready? During the next two presentations, the celery salt and cayenne pepper received looks of about six seconds and three seconds. The baby is looking longer at the new object. It seems that she can tell the difference. Can she read the bottles? Probably not. There are a lot of differences between the two objects. For instance, the shapes of the lids are different and the colors of the spices themselves are different. If a baby detects any of these differences, it will inspire longer looking durations. This phenomenon is known as dishabituation and indicates that the baby is sensitive to something new, something that's changed from the old stimulus to the new one. You can try it with almost anything with your baby at home. Can your baby see differences in color? Get her bored with a red cup and then time how long she looks at the old red cup and a new blue one. If she looks longer at the new blue one, you can be confident that she's sensitive to the difference in color. Let's watch a few more presentations of that celery salt. She looks for about five seconds, then for a little less than three seconds. Her yawns are consistent with what's happening again, this time with the new stimulus. She's getting habituated to the repeated presentation of this object. Babies and adults are not so different in this respect. New things attract our attention and hold it for a while, but usually not forever. For all humans, regardless of age, it seems that variety is the spice of life. <laughs>